one two three forty four platoon not was staying, and now SU one two three forty four camp platoon was uh, staying FCM fifty T because FCM fifty T has preferential matchmaking while SU one two three forty four does not. Now what you need to know about the SU one two three forty four is that it's an ultra fast tank destroyer with ultra good traverse speed, so you're never going to get outflanked quite easily. And uh, I would I would not recommend you to try to circle this tank because it's an absolutely brawler if it needs to be. Um, so this tank, the only downside to it is pretty much the crap accuracy and the shell travel time of the standard Russian 122mm D25T, but it has monstrous reload of 6.75 seconds as is shown here from Timjin's tank. Now he must have had a good crew and uh, modules on it, so it's probably the maximum maybe reload you can, you can minimize it to. Uh, but yeah, this thing is an absolute beast, and I have so many good videos of this tank performing on my channel. And is it worth the gold video as well? So now I I think this tank is sometimes hard to play because you get two shotted by some people or one sh one shotted by RT sometimes. So it's it's very hard to trade with people. If you had a bit more, let's say, uh, health points, then you can effectively just trade shots with your legendary DPM. But of course, if you do get hit by like an ISU-152, it's not the best interest, isn't it? <laughs> Although you maybe kill him in two shots or three shots, but he, he does one shot and it, it almost kills you. So that's the bad thing about it, and the pen wouldn't be sufficient enough for you to kill an IS-3 from the front uh, if you fire AP round, it just wouldn't pen the IS-3 reliably. And you can see Tim Jr. oh, he's coming across the corner and takes a hit from the IS-3, which is a very bad decision in my opinion here. Uh, he should not have gone out, but he is going to make up for that mistake. ISU stock, ISU gets nuked. And he shot at the right place, and I think here uh, they should have just either rushed the IS-3, uh, yeah, they should have, yeah, and here's the rush. But uh, in my opinion, again, Slayton should have gone right around him and not waited. So he can actually turn the turret on the IS-3 and set us. Uh, what am I talking about? Tim Jin tracks that IS-3. Uh, is IS-3 gonna plant a shot into the big IS? big FCM 50T side armor, I IS-3 still can't connect, so Satan here is doing a great job on doing on outplaying him, and you can see he puts another shot into the IS-3, making the IS-3 seem like a total retard of a player, and holy shit, the IS-3 that came down here to back up their, their own IS-3 and killed Satan. To be honest, if Satan and the Tim Jin are watching now, I would say, you two should have uh, actually gone into it and um, not uh, have waited it because uh, if Saiyan turned the turn of the IS-3 it could have gave Timjin way better shots to to connect and holy crap Carnarvon he's gonna so out damage to Carnarvon but as you can see the health point of the SU-12244 is what makes it terrible uh, it's just quite hard to trade against people like now you got 289, would you go against the Tiger or two now? You wouldn't try to do it. But again, this thing has a bad gun depression, so even if he climbs up here, it's not gonna be very easy to get the kill on the Tiger 2 before the Tiger 2 swings is gone onto him. But statistically the Tiger 2 is uh, as worse as a bot, so we can we can take him out I reckon. Yeah, kinda a good shot into the side. And that was gold round, but again um, the gun has a fairly poor pen against high tier mediums, uh, like the, the IS-8 for example, where if you want to pen him reliably, you, you kind of have to use gold, although his armor is not that good, it's just that the, the su want to use armor is not that great uh, against those high tiers, and also you, or your armor is just not going to hold out, and also your health point is pretty sh uh, shockingly bad but again it's only a tier 7 TD but then when you see tier 9s it's kind of disappointing so it, it gets both ways and it's loaded HE for the national I believe but now it seems like um, 
yeah, protecting base is probably better because T-34-2 is going to fall down there and uh, probably G GW Panther and the M-12 is not going to help out the T-34-2 that much so again the RIS-3 was retarded to to run in front of all the enemy RTs which is retarded why did he have to attack when he can defend it's just the the question I asked a lot of people why do you attack if, if it's not necessary you know the, 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 I just don't get it why, why do you try to attack when you don't you can't even guarantee that your base is not gonna be dead make sure you can take out whoever's coming to your base because you can have the advantage in the positioning of how to defend your base and then they just come one by one you can take them out quite efficiently there but if you if you try to attack you never know what's behind the bush ambushing you so never should you try to uh, attack the enemy unless unless it's mandatory but in this case I think Tim Jin did the absolutely correct idea is to come back to base and defend and now the enemy uh, the enemy RTs are surely gonna be on um, and four kills on, he, Tim Jin has 1000 damage he does not want to lose this now but Nasmo if he connects a high roll he pretty much could I, I think kill the uh, SU-12244 if he gets ultra lucky but I don't know if that's going to happen or not I haven't seen the replay of this thing yet so I'm going to be as interested as you guys are Tim Jin knows the HE now HE would do probably one shots if he does pen them and if he doesn't hit the whole armor of a GW Panther it's gonna kill him so let's see if this does work holy shit come on yeah perfect shot onto him and holy shit that's what I'm talking about Russian uh, Russian accuracy just this is what's gonna actually pull you pull you down now the GW could all on GW and this is gonna be such a bad ending if it if Tim Jin gets RT'd here and so yeah that's what I was talking about if he was able to connect that round there it could have uh, probably saved the GW Panther on our own team which can be useful although he's you know not that good of an RT after all but better than nothing and now T-34-2 is doing the wrong thing why is he attacking on his own wait until the enemy makes a mistake you got seven minutes to play with why would you want to attack now just don't now the T-34-2 even jumps off his own help uh, jump off the cliff just to make it easier for the enemy and holy shit just just would you wait T-34-2 just wait oh my god just oh you can wait for Tim Jin here to connect the round but no he rather dies and that's what I don't get about players who says that doesn't matter because if he was a better player who can have the patience and timing right then I tell you what he could have won maybe 10% more games if he was able to execute execute the game in the fashion and I don't like the way Tim Jin there didn't fully aim and uh, shot to tell the AMX that he's here and now it's a tight game 3 versus 1 and with not that much health left it's gonna be very hard but again Tim Jin is not not a bad player so he is gonna probably outplay a few of them but note that the enemy tanks are no fool either they're not red players so they, they pretty much have an idea of what's gonna happen and is it gonna be a win or a loss is the question now if, if you hold for good RNG you can easily probably say that he's gonna win but you know you never know with RNG five kills and still the team look at the team how many kills did the team do really barely anything and now it's just a game of who's gonna make the first mistake in my opinion it's, it's, this is a time when you have a platoon mate who tells you what to do because your platoon mate is more chill than you are he can analyze the situation uh, he can predict what's gonna happen better than you are who is actually trying to concentrate to sh get the first shot off 
So this is tense. And you see how the T-34 was to throw the game away from a victory. He, he totally, totally made the worst mistake ever in this game. And holy shit, Tim Jin doesn't know how to drive now. <laughs> uh, yeah, now the RT spotted him. And yeah, Tim Jin is going to die, I think, if he doesn't rush this AMX. But again, the enemy RT is probably zoomed onto this corner now. And if he gets bomb rushed now, there is absolutely no way to deal with this situation. And it's probably going to be a loss. It's very unfortunate the AMX actually came around his ass. And now the, the AMX is not going to pop over here, I don't think, with his stats. He's not that stupid to pop out. So we'll see what he does or what his teammate does. So back to what I was saying there. The T-34 too, why can't he just wait? Why? Just, just why can't he wait for a few more seconds before he makes a move? And also he, had, he just had to make it easier for the enemy to kill him in one shot because you know what you have to just jump down the cliff and hurt yourself he saw he saw oh this RT I can easily kill him well does he not think that the RT can also kill him it's just retarded this all the way I think uh, again I, 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 I just think so many players in this game doesn't know how to time the time the stuff right and you know there's plenty of time to 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 wait and play with you don't, you don't have to, to suicide when there's seven minutes left now it's making it very tricky for Tim Jin to do this now I would what I would have done is probably just gone around down the ditch on along this line here probably well, let me show you the, the the line here basically I would drive here down here maybe that would be my plan but again uh, it's very hard to, to predict what's gonna happen especially the route I told I just said might be covered up by the NASA you never know now if they start capping Tim Jin he's screwed really screwed he's probably trying to find the an enemy arty so he can nuke him dead but again this it's not gonna happen to unless they will come at him and he gets all three kills to win this game and I think the enemy is gonna cap any time now A draw and a loss is the same. So we we'll see. I'll just skip skip it slightly, speed it up, and we'll come to the conclusion in a moment of what actually is going to happen. And yep, yeah, they started capping. So if I was Tim Jin now, I, I would have personally uh, camped around. Uh, I could, I would have uh, gone back to base a bit earlier because uh, again this. That is the only chance for them to win, so... Holy shit. Holy shit. Mm, oh, that... That HE round was just... Disgusting. And didn't pan. Now, that didn't give him enough time now to come back to base. So, that is the end of the game. And what a sad way to lose it, to lose this. Now, I, uh, from what I watched... Um, saying the way you didn't attack them... Uh, quickly uh, and didn't go around them is what I think was wrong and holy shit oh my god oh my god that loss that loss did you see that if he was maybe two seconds faster he could have won the, he could have won this game but because T-34-2 failed um, his team failed as a whole uh, Tim Jin <laughs> didn't get a lucky roll on the M44. If he was able to connect a good roll, he could have won this game. But again, it's just one of those games where you feel frustrated and you lose. And yeah, the, the team didn't make it easy for him either. So I, I personally feel deepest sympathy for Tim Jin here. He lost this game. What a close ending. And hopefully you have enjoyed this one. And we shall see you tomorrow.